Hello, everyone. I am currently on the move, so that's why I don't have my usual getup. Uh, I just want to quickly go over... You know, I always say that. I always say I want to quickly go over, like, I'm always in a rush. I don't know if that's a great introduction. It's just a habit. Um, but yeah, with that said, I want, to, I want to talk about when having a CIO makes sense. I mean, when, when does a company mature enough, or when does it reach a point that having a chief information officer makes sense? Having a chief data officer makes sense. Having a chief technology officer, like any acronym, like when does it make sense? Uh, because there's this nasty, there's a couple of nasty trends happening right now. Uh, a lot of companies are trying to have chief te chief technology officers instead of CIOs, instead of chief information officers. They're trying to have a chief technology officer. I think those are two different those are two different roles. Um, they they complement each other and they you know have synergy they can collaborate they're, they're just they they have two different purposes but a lot of companies and this is something startups are very guilty of if you go on angel list or wellfound.com you know the the new angel list has a new name it's called wellfound uh startups have chief technology officers that's all they have they will never have a ci i don't see startups as cios i just don't see them if you go on wellfound chief information officer is not even an an option. It's CEO or CFO, Chief Financial Officer, or Chief Marketing Officer, or Chief Technology Officer. They don't have Chief Data or Digital, which makes sense. Those are niche, you know, specific, specialized roles. But it's alarming because companies that have, if, if you've reached the maturity where you need some, an informatical officer or some sort of IT resource at the high level, at the sponsor level, at the C level, um, I think, obviously, depending on the company, you know, you might need a chief information officer, you might benefit from one. Um, and that's just not happening. You have established large companies that are trying to have chief technology officers handle everything. And then you have startups, which I guess could get away with it just because startups are known for trying to assemble their team first. So, you know, the startup will have a few people. They don't even have employees. They have external resources overseas that they're leveraging. But yeah, you'll have a CEO and a CEO. You'll have a CEO for a company that isn't really operating yet. It might be in stealth mode and hasn't really done much be beyond the LLC formation. You'll have a CFO with no revenue. You'll have a chief marketing officer with nothing to market. And you'll have a CTO with no product or infrastructure to be responsible for. That's what some startups do. They assemble, they assemble everyone at the top. And then over time, they build out their, their pyramid and... They leverage overseas resources. Then when they get traction, they get funding, they start hiring locally. Uh, but it's a problem. I don't see any startups, right? And I'm trying to think. I think this is actually an honest answer. I don't think I've seen a startup that has a chief information officer. And it's, it's different purposes. Like, I think a CTO can has a value, has a place. Um, because they, they mostly focus on infrastructure. Um, they focus a lot on engineering. They focus a lot on uh, hardware um and it's is different it's different right i mean there are some companies where the cto is actually also the cio um in terms of their responsibilities i mean their title won't say that but uh they do things that a cio would do but more often what is happening is you have a cto who's just the engineering you know basically a vp of engineering i guess and that's all they can think about they just think about engineering they think about architecture they you know, think about how the software and hardwares are running together, but they're not thinking about the business side of the company. They're not thinking about how are we using IT to help support our employees, empower them so that they can do their jobs, they can be more productive. How can we support our business lines and also vision? Um, I mean, I find CTOs they they do have future states. They do think about where are we taking the company, but it's really just they're thinking about where are we taking our technology. A CIO will also be thinking about where are we taking our business? Where are we taking our people, right? So um, with that said, I mean, a CIO is not usually the highest technical authority. Um, the CTO is, if, if a company has a CTO. Uh, and, and if there's no CTO, usually the CIO has, you know, they have an IT architect or they have a VP of engineering. They have some resource that they rely on who fulfills some, if not all, of the, ju the duties that a CTO has. But I disagree with this trend of companies trying to have a CTO instead of a CIO um, because those are different roles. And I don't like that startups have reinforced this. And I understand I understand that not all startups need a CIO right out the gate. That's fine. 
but it's a problem where I'm looking at companies that are, you know, they're, they're not in the seed stage. They're in Series A or Series B. Sorry, let me just silence my phone. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of mature and they have revenue. They have, you know, customer base. They've reached a point where they could benefit from a CIO, but they're just having a CTO do, do everything. And um, when I look at how they're, op, you know, operating, when I look at their potential, uh, there's always a gap. Um, and this is something I observe sometimes as an outsider. And then this is also something something I've seen as the inside uh, consultant, resource, advisor, whatever you want to call it, where I come in and I look at how things are operating. And I, you know, I look for, I, I do a SWOT assessment. So I look at strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And, um, you know, I always deliver my findings and I always tell them, you know, what, what their future states will look like. Some companies just hire me to do their due diligence. They just want to say that they consulted with someone and they just shred my paper immediately. And then uh, some companies actually, they do over time look for ways to develop a CIO role. So that's just my two cents on the trend of companies having a CTO instead of a CIO. And uh, do I think a CIO role is still relevant? Do I think it still has a purpose? Which the answer is yes. A CTO and CIO are different roles. And I don't like that companies are trying to conflate them.